No, probably not, because I would have. I'd, I'd, I'd lost it. Yeah, I'd lost it. <laughs> VR around the campsite now. 3D. No. You don't think you fight with somebody that this will be in 3D <laughs> when it comes back. This is the F1 tent. <laughs> yeah. and this is the first time that I've filmed up the moor in 3D. This is Darren's hammock. Because I know this camera is not very good in uh, when it gets a bit darker. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what the woodland's like in 183D. There's a lot of brambles around. Ow! Yes, one's just gone in my leg. Ow, that was sensible. Ow! Simon's tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not just yet. So we, as we're coming up, that flashy. He's got all darker windows. Wow, we indicated that. He pulled into the lay by. And he's. Yeah. And I go to pull in with him. Right at the last minute, I just changed down and go past him. Right, and he goes into the lay by. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. <laughs> Darren's laugh. <laughs> you know, and he comes straight out behind me and I go, thanks. <laughs> and then he follows me into the village. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So he follows me to the village and I'm thinking, oh. oh. Perhaps he's local. This could be interesting. And um, but he wasn't. <laughs> and he followed me down to my drive found where I live. I thought, I'm not stopping at my house. Do you know where I live? Yeah. <laughs> so I carried on to the circuit of the block and he followed me all the way out. I thought, yeah. he's desperate for a talk. <laughs> yeah. And then I got on the phone yeah. and I got my mum's boyfriend Ron and said, Ron, can you, can you get your camera phone ready? Um, I'm just coming up by you. I want you to film this out the window. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he, he followed me and I, I went to turn up the lane and he obviously decided, oh, this is probably not a good idea or this guy's just going to give it a run around. Yeah. yeah. But I was... <laughs> I wanted him to come up to my mum's place with Ron, yeah. filming it out the window, <laughs> you know. Because if he had been that desperate to follow somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. on two turns, he wasn't he wasn't there to give me a kiss, was he? No, he wasn't. He wasn't no. to hey, ask you for no. a date. No, but... That was how you have to be on the 50 following me. Um, I mean, I was screaming along doing 80 because I got stuck in traffic and we were not half an hour to get to the <laughs> You'd be safer in the tent. It's up to you. It's not going to rain. You could just put your old mat in there and your sleeping bag. Yes. Oh, is he laying his uh, mat down? Quite pleased with my sleeve, sleeping bag as well. My Van Gogh Ultralight Pro. You like your ultralight stuff, you do, mate. Yeah, well, I'm such a dainty thing, I can't carry it. Of course, you are. Rock you. That's not, that's good. Edinburgh Award recommended sleeping bag. I mean, it's supposed to be good to mine or something. But it's ideal for up here. Yeah, I've got to get my stuff packed. What? Mm -hmm. And what's your bag? What? Yeah. yeah. It's still a bit, it's a bit snuggly for my life. <coughs> Is that anything to do with your size, you think? Your inside leg measurement? It's just mummy bags, I'm not a huge fan. I like to starfish when I'm asleep. Yeah. Yeah. No good for spooning then. I have a king size bed at home. So I was walking around earlier and I got it in photo mode. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. 
Rambles are a nightmare. Oh, what's that said? <laughs> I didn't use to go to school. Yeah? So this is a VR, first time I've done VR, well I did some last night obviously, around camp, just showing you the woodland, so you should get a really good 3D effect in here, with all the depth, and the foliage and everything else, and the stones, you can see obviously this was like all old quarry sites at some point, um, and they just dumped the stones and left them here probably 100 years ago. And then the forest has grown up around it. A lot of it's been cleared, but originally it was all forest. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not quite sure what that's like, whether it's too close or not. I don't know. Give you the 3D effect. Me in 3D, how awful. But um, Views have just updated the software, the desktop software. And it's put um, auto leveling and image stabilization on the software. So it's, I did a brief test the other day, the last one I did, and I'm really impressed.